and my eyes get low in that all white truck I can barely see shit And my eyes get low in that all white truck I can barely see dee -dee -dee -dee. And I overflow like mercury Hello and welcome to my backyard. So a few weeks ago I got a message from Dehancer asking if I could review their product. My first thought was what is Dehancer? I'd kind of seen it before as like a plugin for DaVinci Resolve but didn't realize they did a Lightroom plugin as well. So after looking into it, the main hype around Dehancer is pretty much that it's a plugin for your editing software to make your digital photos look like film. So the main points I'm going to cover in this video are a quick overview of the plugin how Dehancer actually holds up in my workflow, digital versus film comparisons, and why I think Dehancer is more than just a film plugin. Now, I recently did a music video shoot for an artist called Travi P. I'll drop the link of the music video in the description below. So our main focus for this shoot was the music video. We were shooting on a CYC white wall. Um, keeping it pretty simple. But we also wanted to do some press photos afterwards just to help for his campaign release. So yeah, for the photos, because we didn't have much time, we also just kept it pretty clean, pretty simple. Just did like two different outfits. I was shooting on my Mamiya RB67 and doing digital photos on a Sony A6500. All right, so the shoot is done. Um, everything went pretty good. Uh, we didn't have a lot of time to do photos, but we kind of figured that from the start because we we're mainly focusing on the music video. So I've imported all the photos. I've actually edited them all already just because I need to get them to Trav. So I'll open up Dehancer, show you guys how to use it and just give you a brief overview on what it is. So you want to go into Lightroom Classic. These are all the digital selections that I picked from the photos. So to start off, once you get into Lightroom, you want to do all your base editing. So fix just like exposure changes, mask out anything you don't want there, crop photos. You can do it afterwards, but it's generally just easier doing it beforehand. You can still use LUTs as well with Dehancer. So if you've got a couple LUT packs, those won't go to waste. But I'll leave that off for now. Once you've got your image ready to put into Dehancer, you want to right click on it, go edit in, edit in Dehancer Lightroom plugin then it will pop up with a setting here which you can choose to either edit the original photo or you can edit a copy of the photo so i normally just click the top one it duplicates the photo so your original still there if you want to do a different edit click edit so that will open up dehancer so down the bottom you have your waveforms to the left you've got all your presets that dehancer comes with and they're all pretty much just different film stocks so you have portrait 400 um, different Kodak film stocks, yeah, a whole heap of different ones. Down here you'll also have your own film stocks that you can make within Dehancer. So once I've edited a photo, I have an edit that I like and I'm doing a batch edit, I will just come up here, click this, and then you'll create your own preset. On the right side you have all your editing dials. Um, so you've got your film developer, film compression, expand, print, color head, Film grain, haliation, bloom, vignetting. It's pretty much all the stuff you'll need to give an image like a film look. For me, the, probably the main perks of editing within Dehancer is you can do your haliation within here, and as well as your bloom, and it generally has a better film grain emulation than Lightroom does. Now, one of the things I did find when I was using Dehancer is because you're putting the photos in, base editing them, putting them into a different software, and then editing them there, and bouncing them back into Lightroom, which is a super easy process. It just does it automatically, but it does take a little bit more time to edit all your photos that way. But I think the outcome that you get is definitely a lot better than if you weren't to use it. All right, so to apply these down the side here, you just want to click them, and then it will add it to the image. 
So to start off, you have your film developer, which you can change your contrast, pull my contrast down a little bit. You can boost your colors up. So generally add a little bit more color, especially because these are pretty colorful clothes want to pop. And then I'll add the print. I generally kind of add all of these to my image and then just go through and tweak them. Unless I don't want grain on it or anything, I'll take that off. But for me, the best thing about Dehancer is that you have this color density dial. Generally with film, colors are a lot more rich and a lot more dense. So when you're just using Lightroom, it's kind of hard to make a digital image look just like film. So in here, you can bump that up and then as you can see, it kind of brings in a lot more depth in your colors. So the color head is great because you can do your kind of white balance, your tints, add in extra colors that you want. Um, it also has a direct shadow, mid-tones and a highlight toning part which helps for when you're doing small adjustments. I like it when you make like the whites cool. Um, to me it just looks a little bit more interesting than a straight white background. And then I'll generally add a little bit of green into it and just fix my reds a bit. Alright and you can come down into your shadows, do your highlights. I want my highlights to be kind of cool. Alright you can add your film grain now. So you have your size. I normally have my film grain size pretty small and just dial it down a bit. I don't like super heavy grain on my photos. Another great thing about the film grain within Dehancer is generally film has a lot more grain within the shadows. So when you add grain just in Lightroom, you're kind of just adding grain to the overall image. With this, you can change the grain within the midtones, highlights, and shadows. So I'll kind of bump up the grain within my shadows. Midtones, I'll pull them down a bit, and then highlights, I'll pull those down. Then you have your haliation. A great thing about haliation within here is you have a masking mode. So you can click that, and then it will highlight all the areas in your photo that it's adding haliation to. You, know, you can go crazy with it if you want. But I only really want a little bit. Go click that off. Then you can come down to your bloom as just a soft kind of glow to your image. And yeah, again, it's the same thing. You can go through, adjust your bloom. Mainly just want my highlights to kind of be blooming, not really the whole image. And yeah, obviously you can do vignettings and all that kind of stuff. I generally leave that off. Now, once that's done, you can push OK. It will then bounce your image back into Lightroom. So I have the original photo and then my new edited photo is there. And then from here, I'll kind of just do all my general Lightroom touch-ups. That's kind of the overall edit. So it doesn't take too long. Um, a little bit longer than just going through and then doing it in here. But yeah, it works pretty good. So if you're looking at getting Dehancer just to replicate the film look, um, it does a pretty good job. So I found two photos that look pretty similar. One from my digital camera and one from the Mamiya. The film photo from the Mamiya that I used is just raw, it's unedited. And obviously the digital photo is edited. So this is a little side by side of the two photos. And Dehancer did a pretty good job. For me, it's just like the shadow detail and the highlights that you get with film. You just can't really replicate with a digital camera. The raw film photo is obviously a little bit more rich in the colors, but Dehancer still did a pretty good job. All right, overall my thoughts about Dehancer, for me it's kind of more than just a plugin to replicate film. I ended up using Dehancer to even edit my film photos. I just found that it gives you more freedom to make adjustments with your edit. Now I personally don't like commercial photography or just even the idea of editing a photo perfectly or should be edited specifically in one way. I want my photography to be more like an art and be a bit more experimental. So if you're someone like me and you're not sure about Dehancer, just think of it as another tool. Dehancer probably isn't going to stop me buying more editing assets um, as I think the more tools you can have the better but it's there anyway for when I have a project that complements it. So I'll put in all the film and digital photos from the shoot so you guys can see how they turned out. The digital photos weren't all done by me, they were done by my business partner and friend Callum. If you're also an artist and you're looking for any multimedia content for yourself I'll drop the link of mine and my friend Callum's business called Fluorescence in the description as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the photos in the comments. Um, helps me to learn. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope it was interesting and hope you learned something about Dehancer. I have a promo code down in the description if you want to use that to support this channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Going with uncertainty. Going with uncertainty.
circles at the sugar. Run. 